in this video, I'm going to show you one of the best plays for launch of Madden 23. It's going to come to us out of the bunch in the Washington football team's playbook. I think that the bunch is going to be one of the better offenses again in Madden 23. And if you want to learn my entire gun bunch offense, make sure you join our Patreon. We're going to have a bunch ebook pretty much immediately as soon as Madden 23 is released. It's kind of going to be based off of a lot of the principles that we found in Madden 22. And you can go ahead and learn those right now by joining the Patreon for just 10 bucks. If you want to sign up for that, the link is down in the description below. But this is one of my favorite plays. And I actually released this, this concept I want to say the first week of Madden 22, and this concept has stood the test of time. It's been really effective at Madden for years, and it's going to be really good yet again, especially in Madden 23 because of the style of game that Madden 23 is probably going to be. It's going to be a blitz heavy year in my opinion, and so you need quick routes, quick reads that can basically beat the blitz. And so this comes to us out of the play Mesh Post. This has been one of my personal favorite plays in Madden for the last several years. And the setup that we're going to use does not require a hot route master quarterback. I'm just using the Bucks just because. Um, but it does not require any route chemistries. It doesn't require anything. Um, and really one of the defenses that I think we're going to see a lot in Madden 23 is kind of a variation of this, which is the double Mabel uh, out of a cover three, cover three shell. This is a really good defense in Madden 23. And so what we're going to show you today is a great way to get over the top of this of this defense. And it's actually fairly straightforward. We're just going to streak this outside solo receiver. This wheel route that the running back is on is now hot routable in Madden 23. Uh, but really what we're going to do with this is put him on a quick out. And then we're going to slant uh, Chris Godwin. And this is going to give us a high-low on the right and a high-low on the left, as well as a slant post over the middle of the field. And so just by motioning him to the bunch side, snapping when he sets, you're going to see that if they're not playing hard flats, we can take that. And I'm telling you right now, you really want to focus, especially in Man 23, on taking your five-yard dots. If you if you have a route open, quick, flat route, you really need to take that in Man 23 because you, the pass rush is so good that it's going to be hard to move the ball if you don't. Okay, so I want to just really emphasize taking your quick reads, taking your check downs. I'm going to show you an alternate setup with this, actually, that I really like as well, especially for, again, the, me the meta that you're going to be facing. But you see that this slant is going to get in a really nice little sweet spot over there. They're going to have to vert hook. They're going to have to have a vertical hook on that side of the field uh, to be able to take that away. So it might the defense really is going to have to look something like this, where they have a kind of a cover two over there. And then now they're in a position where, you know, they kind of have to play cover two on both sides. And anytime you have to play cover two against Bunch, it's actually a risky deal because of the fact that we can run, you know, a post route from that solo receiver out of a play like Bunch Trail and be able to attack it. But uh, anyways, I also want to show you again now, obviously they're dropping a lot of people back. So if you do get time, this post route to circle is really, really good because he is going to get over the top of a 30 yard cloud. As you can see right there, um, he'll absolutely destroy a deep zone drop in Madden 23. Uh, interestingly enough, zone drops, I really don't think are going to be very uh, effective in Madden 23 because of just the way the game plays. Um, but if they are using the deepest zone possible, which is a 30 yard cloud flat, you can see that this gets over it. Now, the next thing that I want to show you is kind of a variation of the first setup. And it's basically this. We're going to out route Mike Evans and hitch Rob Gronkowski. Now, I want you to watch this running back route. It's actually really interesting what this running back's uh, going to do. Because it's a seam wheel, it's going to get into the seam. And it's basically going to act like a streak. And as you can see, I can still throw this over the top of a 30-yard cloud. Now, if you're watching this, you might, as I think, don't like the route spacing on the play. If you don't like the route spacing, I've got something for you here. Um, what we're going to do is instead of putting him on the seam wheel, we're going to run the same concept, except we're going to streak the running back. And this streak is really going to space the field perfectly. You see that if they're not playing yellow zones, we can throw this early into the route. Um, just like in Madden 22, you can do that. The zones don't guard that route. They have to have a yellow zone, like a vertical hook or a hook curl. Uh, they really need a vertical hook on that side. So again, we're getting them into this position where on both sides, they have to vert hook to stop the hitch flat concepts. But then we have this ability to hit them super deep down the field with Scotty Miller. And what you'll see here, just pass lead him to the left. And as you see, that's a little bit better spacing for the concept. I want to thank you for watching this video. This is also very effective against man and match coverages. Another way you could run it would be something like this. 
Um, or another one of my favorite setups is to option route the running back. The reason I like to option route the running back, now this is not going to be as effective in Madden 23 um, because of the fact that the purple zones are going to play a little bit better if there's nothing to pull them outside. But why I like this setup right here is real quick, I can hit this back if there's no yellows quick. I can't hit him late, but I can hit him quick. And so again, we're back into that situation where they're gonna have to yellow zone on both sides of the field. And then if they do that, you're gonna see that here's two yellow zones. Um, and then now what we're gonna really get into is having them, they're gonna have to do something like this. And, and this is where our first setup or our earlier setup comes really effective where we're gonna simply do something like this with a backside slant and this slant flat combo with the out route really does a good job of attacking the flats on both sides and if there's no hard flats we're going to be able to take that all day long so anyways thanks for watching the video if you want to learn more about this offense make sure you join our patreon the link is down in the description below you can sign up today for 10 bucks and get access to all of our madden 22 material and all of the material that we've been putting in there we actually just put into into the patreon a really good tip for madden 23 you can apply it in madden 22 but it also applies in madden 23 it's really effective for helping you get a better pass rush so if you want to sign up for that again 10 bucks gets you everything all 30 of our madden 22 ebooks and all all the ebooks that we're going to be releasing in man 23 as long as you're a member thanks for watching again if you want to sign up head down to the description below and click the link down below